Hello, and well, as you could probably tell by the lights, I did not record this immediately after the drink review. Yeah, it's the next day. It's 6.34 in the morning. I woke up around, let's say, 40 minutes ago. Uh, because I got so tired after I did the drink review. And then I edited. I was kind of like, ah. Uh, let me sleep instead of doing what I was saying I was gonna do. I mean, this right here is our team that we're going into this battle with. And the only one that I'm kind of like, I might change up is maybe like Achilles, specifically the muscle band. I don't really know like item I want Achilles to have, but... Oh, well, oh. This is pretty cool. Wait. Okay, and we have a cutscene. Man, that door opened very slow and I'm... 255% speed. Welcome, challenger. I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. Alright, I like the share. Even though the share looks pretty fuzzy. Very weird. Like everything else looks pretty crisp and then <laughs> the share is fuzzy. The look you're giving me. I guess you'll give me a good match. That's good. Looking real good. Alright, let's get down to the kind of battle that can happen only here in the Pokemon League. And one thing I just noticed, I f oh, or I forget to see uh, the little intro screen with all of the Elite Four. And I assume they're gonna start unlocking. Um, so I'm not starting with the Pokemon I wanted to start with. I want to start with Tentagrape, but oh well, we're going up against the Dark type, and he's probably gonna use. Uh, the fall asleep move, uh, what's it called? Oh no, a yeah, sludge bomb, and we got poison, god damn it. Ah, he has focus sash, damn. Alright, we're. Go, Tentagrip. Ah, I should have thought about that, he's gonna use full restore. So we could have gotten. Basically our health back by using Draining Kiss. Alright, let's see. I just... I'm gonna keep Tentagrip in. But my assumption is that Tentagrip will probably be... Oh no, Nasty Plot. Ha. Huh. Toxic? Okay, good job, Tentagrip. Um, I was kind of like, I would rather get the Toxic off instead of a second layer of Toxic Spikes. I mean, this would be pretty funny if the very first... Uh, uh, what's it called? Elite 4 member destroys us because I didn't pay attention to... Uh, don't get flinched. Okay, nice. Then just for safety, we're gonna protect here. Okay, Dark Pulse. And now, we just bug bus. Tyran- oh, Sandstream. Yeah, alright, so even if we knock Tyranitar out here, we're dead. So that's a pretty good move from him. Sending in Tyranitar. I think Crusos is the safest. Shift tree. Huh. Is this a special or physical shift tree? I got stealth rock. Okay, he fake outs. That's fine. Basically, he did more damage to himself. Also, okay, it's a physical shift tree. So, you know what? We're absolutely fine. That's good. So, I'm just gonna curse. Yeah, because he's gonna have to do so many, uh, what's it called? Swords dances to be able to damage us. Where I'm kinda like, I could just curse up, get my defense and attack up. Alright, I keep seed bombing. And I'm just gonna keep cursing up. 
If I attack now... Yeah, yeah. I think... Oh, he knocks off. Damn. Okay. That was really good from him. I will say the AI is doing, like, really good. It's doing the right choices. Ah. I hope Helen is faster. Okay, we are. Good. One good thing is that we have a normal poison on us, we're not toxic. Uh, so... I just hyper voice. Okay, nice, nice. Oh, and you're, of course, Absol, and it's obviously a mega Absol. Alright, so we did this. I'm pretty sure, like, there's no way for us to lose. Oh, I'm surprised we're faster, huh? Well, listen to what this loser has to say. You got what it takes to go a long way. Go on to the next room and challenge our next battle. Thanks. Thanks, Sydney. Uh, even though, you know, you had an advantage over me. Well, what I mean by advantage is the fact that I didn't arrange my team <laughs> before going in. I just went, ah, let's go in. Okay, let's go to the next room. Alright, getting a little bit like ghost energy right there. Hello you. And I mean, I love how Phoebe, I think her name is Phoebe. I love how she looks. And I mean, I would never think that, ah, oh, she's a ghost type really form member. Because judging by her look, I would think my mind goes towards um, Phoebe, yeah. Like water types. I did my training on my empire. So the fact that she is a ghost type is pretty cool. So I wonder what her team is gonna be in this. Cause she has a pretty uninspired team in the original games. Basically like two or three dust globs and like two bayonets. Something like that. Okay. We just got toxic spikes. Okay, you said a trick room. Alright. That's fine. Sludge bomb. Okay, sludge bomb. Okay, but we got the poison. Um, I mean... No, wait. If you do Nightshade, it's still gonna hit Hector. Even though it's a ghost type move. I think it actually does like, uh, what's it called? Uh, God, what is it called? A specific, kind of like a curse is, where it's not actually like a ghost type move. It's like on, uh, what's it called? Uh, I want to say untiered, but like it doesn't have any type, typeless. There we go, Jesus Christ. Why oh, was that so hard for me to think about? Um, did the trick room disappear? Alright. Um, this might be a way to get Achilles scene, maybe? And start getting some. Because Tentagrab is still our fastest poke, or like I think our second fastest Pokemon. Yeah, so could be useful. And this this club doesn't really seem to do much damage. So I'm gonna switch in Achilles. And we're gonna Dragon Dance once. I think that's all we can afford. Oh, trick room. Okay. Well. No way, that's so stupid of me. Because trick room, no, it's faster than me. I just threw away Achilles. Uh, what am I doing? What the fuck am I doing here? Ah, uh, sorry Achilles. I, I fucked up. Alright, uh, well, I mean, Crystal is not gonna be faster, 
even in the trick room. Oh, we are. Oh, now he trick rooms again so that he's faster. That's a quite an interesting strat. Yeah, so this Dust Clops did a number on us. <laughs> Man, he killed basically three of our poke. Oh, shit, Giratina. Ah, uh, just set up stealth rocks. Nice, holy shit, good job, Chrysos. The fact that you survived. I'm gonna assume he uses Shadow Ball again, and we're sending in Hector. Okay, nice. Yeah, it gives us just a free switch. Now we play rough. Oh, nice crit. Alright, and then with the leftover... I'm expecting you to use a full restore, so I'm gonna Toxic here. It didn't. Oh, but he Shadow Forced. Okay, well actually, that's great for us. <laughs> okay, it worked out. Okay, Hoopa. Uh, is it Hoopa Dark Psychic? Is it Ghost? Maybe. Maybe the Unbound form is Dark Psychic? This is maybe like Psychic Ghost? I mean, I don't like Hoopa. Maybe because of the movie. I hated that movie. So maybe it can, like, I have bad memories. Well, let's just Sludge Bomb. Let's see. Okay, not very effective. So it is part ghost. That's why I use Sludge Bomb. I just want to confirm if it was ghost or not. If it wasn't ghost, it would have been neutral. Uh, so... Hyperspace hole? I think that's a special attack. I think this... The little form is special. The big form is physical. I think. Yeah, it is. Uh, just play rough again. Nice, nice. And that also confer. Oh, and then Sableye. Obviously, Mega Sableye is my guess. No, it's not a Mega Sableye. Oh well, we have a Fairy type attack. Cofagrigus. Um. <laughs> I think Hector can still be very useful to have. So I'm gonna sacrifice Christos here. Alright, so not, not necessarily uh, actually a sacrifice. Because we're not gonna die from this burn. And it's gonna make it so that it will take more poison ship damage. Oh, so what? Mega? Is she gonna. Maybe she has Mega Gengar. Okay, yeah, I'm. I'm call. I'm gonna think. I'm. My prediction is that she has a Mega Gengar. Alright, so you're going for the Will-O-Wisp. Which is fine. So we can just Quiver Dance. We're gonna Willow. Because I, I don't feel like I need my... Uh, what's it called? Focus Ash. Alright, and then I think we quit. No, no, we just take this out. Oh, we missed. Of course we did. God damn it, so I should have just quivered. <laughs> Bain oh, of course, I forgot that Bainet has a mega evolution. Uh, so it's a physical attacker. 
Okay. Well, bug bus. There we go. Well, yeah. So, I mean, things went out very well for us. Against the ghost type, against Phoebe. Alright, full restore. Maybe we can get a burn. Damn. I was hoping for the burn. Uh, and that tells... Okay, yeah, I sucker punch, okay. I was kind of like, hmm, does she have prankster? That's probably what she does. That's probably what she has. Yeah, prankster. So we mega, and we just hyper voice. I just go for our strongest move. Oh darn! I'm gone and lost. Ah, I think I still think you're one of the hardest Elite Four members. Your loss doesn't change that. Uh, but it is pretty close battles. I mean, I think we are winning with like one Pokemon left on each battle, right? One or two Pokemon. We haven't really swept. Even though I will say, I felt like this went pretty easy against Phoebe. Even though we only had one Pokemon left, I still felt like it was an easy battle. And now we're going up against Glacia, is that what her name is? And I think we're just gonna do the same tactic. So Tentagrape is playing a, like a very pivotal role by basically being our quote-unquote suicide lead. Glacia, yeah. And I think you look a lot better in this game that she does in the originals. I actually really like that portrait of her. Okay, Frostlass. I think you can set up spikes. No, Thunder Wave. Ah, oh, you taunt them. What an asshole. And then they spike. Yeah, so this is a spike lead as well. Okay, the taunt wore off. Which will allow me to get, you know. Since I'm expecting, yeah, to use taunt again, we can just scald. And we're getting pretty unlucky with our scald, because scald is supposed to have a 30% chance to burn. Well, obviously, and also sludge bomb also has a 30% chance to poison. And we're not getting that. Which is insane. Damn, you taunt. And... I mean, if you Destiny Bond again... It, I wonder if Achilles is faster? Let's try it. I mean, what I should have done, I should have given Achilles a weakness policy for this. Oh no, if we are faster, then we're getting fucked here. Okay, yeah, no, I fucked up. Actually, this might be good, because now you might- Ah, uh, she just did bomb. You get paralyzed. God damn it. I thought she was gonna use taunt. Um, but, in that case, I should always go for the toxic, I think, even if- I'm expecting a taunt. Uh, so that was a misplay by me. Um, let's see. Wait, what? Oh, so... It's knockoff did remove our focus sash. But it didn't activate. That's not how it normally works. Oh my god, alright. And I don't think I, I forgot to save before this battle. Okay, got the snow warning. And I think we can just play rough for the most. Uh, oh no, it's not part rough. Uh, I, I was thinking, ah, oh, it's dragon. No, it's not dragon. It's 
rock uh, eyes. And that's something I knew, by the way. Uh, but I don't know, I was thinking about dragons. But I, th I was thinking about uh, Achilles. Alright, let's rock to him. Good, good crit. So Hector is doing really well for us. Oh, wait, the ice body right there might actually help us uh, secure this kill. Yeah, she probably would have used a full restore if it wasn't for that ice body. Oh, I cure him. Man, just rock to him. All right. Well, Hector, you did good. Okay, we're gonna send in Achilles. And we're gonna hope we are faster. And I'm just gonna go for Outrage. Nope, we are not faster. So either Kyrm is faster than us, or it might be Choice Scarf. I'm gonna assume it is Choice Scarf. And we're just gonna... Bug Buzz. Fuck it. Alright, yeah, it is Choice Scarf. So bug buzz is probably not the right thing to do. We should quiver dance instead. <coughs> Let's keep quiver dancing. And you using a full restore has sealed your fate. Because it would have been bad for her to just let Kirim die. Because um, I wouldn't have been able to get these free quiver dances. So we're gonna protect. Just to get Sucker Punch. What? Okay, thank god uh, Red Eyes has terrible attack stat. Yeah, okay, so it is a straight scarf. But because we have so many quiver dances now, doesn't matter. Ah, ice shard. All right. I don't think we can lose. Uh, we just iron head. That's not gonna do anything. Yeah. So, oh, another full restore. Is that three full restores? Or was that the second one? I think, okay, so four full restores. I mean, it just lets us heal. <coughs> so yeah, even a crit wouldn't kill us. Ah, you look beautiful, Bisha. Uh But fuck you. My ice moves pale in the face of such all-consuming flames. Yeah, my determination, the flames in my eyes, and my Pokemon. Let's move on. You would think like, oh, this is fire, but nope. This is probably a bit, a little bit of a reference to Karen's. What's her name, Karen? Karen's gym in not not Karen. God, what was the name of the last gym in uh, Johto? You know, the dragon type gym. With the lava and all that. And this is Drake. If you don't, you will never prevail over me. Maybe I should have taught my Tentagrape Ice Beam. Now when I think about it, get rid of Sludge Bomb for Ice Beam for this battle. I uh, didn't think about that. Is it worth? I'm gonna actually think I'm gonna. Um, yeah, we are gonna toxic spike one. Ah, damn. If we okay, we didn't survive. All right. So in the future, ice beam for tentagrape. Um, where is it? we can go to Hector here. I'm thinking of trying to set up. Um, 
Hold on. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming an earthquake comes here. What I'm gonna try and do is that I'm gonna try and make it so that I can set up with Chrysos. Uh, so we're gonna try this tactic of like lowering its stats a lot. I mean, if it gets a crit, my plans are not gonna work, but. Alright, I think minus two attack is fine. And now we can just curse up. <coughs> uh, because I, mean, I assume it's, it's starting to run out of earthquakes. And then the other attacks it has are gonna do negative damage to us. So we're basically gonna heal more than it deals damage to us. That's the plan. Let's see if it works out. 132. Okay, let's see. After heals, we are up 151. Okay, let's see. How much does an earthquake do? One, ah, okay. It still does more than we heal. Like one. Now, that's so weird. We're getting plus one defense right there. Only reduce the damage by one. Oh, it is fo okay. It's focus dash probably. Actually, yeah, this is great for us. So we stealth rock, and I'm just gonna stealth rock until it dies from struggle. <coughs> yeah, because I mean it's not dealing any damage to us. Oh, and you full restore. Ah, you idiot. That's great for us. Maybe I can make it waste uh, more full resource. Or when I say it, I mean maybe I can make Drake waste more full resource. By just spamming self rock, let's see. You survive with a little bit of HP. Will you use another full restore? No, you don't, okay. Rayquaza. Well, if this is not a special Rayquaza... Okay, no, it is not. Well, you're dead. So, good job, Chrysos and Hector. Blue Flare. Okay, Blue Flare. Fuck. Okay, it didn't work out for us in the end. Yeah, because one special attack and we're dead, and since we didn't have full HP... Our sturdy did not kick in. Alright. Uh, let's see. How is it? This is dragon fire. <sighs> I'm gonna throw in Achilles, yeah. Dragon claw. I hope this kills. Okay, nice. Okay, great. Who? The crit might have mattered, actually. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna... I was thinking of sacrificing Hector, but... Maybe we just Outrage here? Okay, yeah. So now we're locked into Outrage. Oh, double Hexerus. Hexerus versus Hexerus. Brother versus brother. Ah, damn, we only got a two-turn outrage. I was hoping for we would be locked in for three turns. Uh, but that didn't happen. Okay. So Achilles, I have to switch out Vector. <coughs> Dragon Rush. Okay, that's a pretty weird attack. That has Dragon Rush. Because Dragon Rush can miss, and is, I mean, sure, it's stronger than Dragon Claw, weaker than Outrage, but... Kaboom, alright. Go, Hector. 
And so I think I'm gonna rock tomb. No wait, rock tomb. Well, we killed us anyways. Uh, go Helen. And uh, aerial light. Oh no. Oh what? Well, it doesn't matter since when I mega evolve, we're gonna get pixelate. So that's fine. Uh, because if we had Aerialate, we wouldn't be super effective with our Hyper Voice. The good thing about Mega Gardevoir is, well, it doesn't have the same ability. So yeah, we have defeated... Oh, and the doors open more and more as we get closer. Because, I mean, obviously he's going to be Steel-type, so this is going to be very difficult for us, I think, fighting... Uh, Steven, because I don't really have... Okay, we can get Brick Break on Achilles. Because Poison Dev is worthless. Or do I want Earthquake? I gotta go for Brick Break the first time. Instead of Poison Jab. I'm gonna get Ice Beam on Tentagrave instead of Sludge Bomb. I think Shadow Ball is probably better than Air Slash. Because, I mean, it's neutral. We Like, this is the thing, we have to do quite a lot of like playing around here thunderbolt might be actually yeah yeah that, you know what yeah thunderbolt instead of draining kiss sure if only any one of our pokemon could learn flamethrower that would be great uh, who do i want to start off with i don't think starting off with tentagrip is actually the best I'm actually gonna start off with Helen. Because I'm expecting, my expectation is that he's gonna start off with a Skarmory. Um, that's my, like, prediction. I hope I'm right. Because I don't think he's gonna have the fossils in this. I think in this ROM hack. Pokemon League Champion. I think he's gonna go very heavy on the steel types. So we have st sturdy. We're gonna call mine once. So actually staying. I'm I'm gonna not gonna mega evolve the first time. Turn. Okay, and now actually I'm gonna call mine one more time. Cause I'm expecting you to use Ah, I didn't expect toxic. I was expecting another spike. But now we Mega Evolve and we Thunderbolt. <coughs> and wait. I know you have Sturdy, so. That, yeah, it, it, it didn't work out for me. So, yeah, back to hell then, because you're gonna heal. So what I should do is Thunderbolt first turn. Um, and then use Calm Minds. Yeah, so that was a big fuck up for me. Uh, now Dialga, just Hyper Voice. We need to get as much damage as possible. Yeah, because if I would have been able to have a Calm Mind up, we would have killed right there. Um, you're probably gonna heal. Yeah, so let's go Achilles. So we're gonna Dragon Dance. It didn't heal. What the fuck? Roar of Time was... Wait, what? So Roar of Time is a Dragon type move in this. Huh. Normally I think it's a Steel type move. Oh, am I wrong? No, maybe maybe I'm completely wrong. Alright, so he's not healing. Whew, alright. Oh no, Agron. Oh yeah, it is not Mega Agron, because obviously he has an... Oh, and he missed. I think... Can? Oh, I didn't know Heavy Slam could... And now he is full Restore. Ah. Huh. 
uh, uh, Jesus Christ, Scald has a 30% burn chance. And I'm thinking we've got a single burn with Scald. Oh no, Calm Mind. Well, actually, this is not a steel type. So we can toxic this. So now it's kind of like it's on a timer. Uh, just keep scalding. Might actually didn't do a lot, considering it is plus two. You know. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm sacrificing you, Tentagrape. Please die. Damn. It will probably heal, right? Oh well. May you're up. Shadow Ball. Okay, whew. Oh no, Eggy Slash. I'm gonna Quiver Dance. Okay, yeah, yeah, your King Shields. So that's good for us. Now we can just Shadow Ball twice. For the kill. Oh no. Oh, he Swords Dance. He fucked up. Oh, you're dead now. Then Metagross, which we can probably two sh shot Mega Stick Pin. What is that what it's called? Oh, and we lower this special defense. Oh, well, it probably has Bullet Punch. No, it didn't. Maybe it does have Bullet Punch, but it didn't use it. Alright, so actually, May, holy shit. <laughs> uh, Beauty Fly, good job. With one quiver dance, you did amazing. I went into this battle thinking like, holy shit, this is gonna be super tough for us. Our team doesn't do well against steel types. Uh, but, yeah, we actually ended up doing very well. And I mean, the Pokemon that I didn't expect to do well actually did very well in that battle. I did not expect anything from uh, Gardevoir, Beautifly, or uh, Tentagrape in this. Uh, but Helen, Tentagrape, and May did super good. Yeah. Congratulations on becoming Pokemon League Champion. Nice. The light coming in. Welcome back, Peach. I just, uh, you know, we set out on this journey together, right? Back to Little Roots. So yeah, I mean, we did it. Uh, we finished this. Um, I kind of wish the text was like on the bottom screen, where, where it's black, and so we could get, you know, the little cut and credit cut scene completely by itself. Uh, but I also understand why they're doing it like that, so that you pay attention to the names, I guess. Uh, but... Yeah. Oh, and Curlia! How did the game know? <coughs> I wonder if it's always a Curlia? No, it's not! Because there we have... That's so cool! That the Pokémon that you... I guess have on your champion team are in the cut the little end credit thing. No, not only is Pokemon from your box because the Leafeon, or maybe it's Pokemon that were used in the battles. 
Oh my god, that's so cool. Maybe it's like the Pokemon the game considered like MVPs. I did not pay attention to that against all of the gym leaders before that. <coughs> yeah, Espeon here at uh, Bull Bullevels. Oh my god. You know what, I love that. That's such a cool thing um, that they do. I guess they like track. Yeah, okay, I love that. Um, this game has a lot of things that I love. I probably, I mean, when it comes to like, it feels like they actually put effort into these games. Uh, like a lot of effort into this Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I wouldn't even call them like remakes. I would call them like re reimaginings. Uh, because they feel. I mean, now I'm playing this in the ROM hack. I, I'm, like my enjoyment of the gameplay would have been lower if I didn't play the ROM hack. So, do you, Vento? There we go. Good job. Um, but the actual game itself with the story some of the decisions they made when it comes to like, stuff like this and the world building and all that i think they made a great job it reminds me a lot of like pokemon um, the let's go pokemon pikachu and eo we're having a last battle okay that's not a good uh, start for us Man, you're an asshole. <laughs> Brendan. Oh, I need your sword stance. Can we? Oh, we didn't survive. Okay, he's plus one attack. So now he has a physical Lucario instead of a special one. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna send in Tentagrape, because I don't know, is this Lucario... Does it have... Oh, okay, it has Earthquake. Okay, I didn't think about that, like, maybe that's Bone Meringue? Is this Lucario gonna sweep us? All because... We started off with Helen. Darmanitan, oh. You know, Chrysos, you're gonna have to tank this. Flare Blitz, you have to tank it. Good job. Tan growth. I... Hmm... Would I? I don't even know if if a okay a Giga Drain okay fuck and a crit. I don't think the crit mattered, but I was expecting like a Power Whip. Uh, that was kind of like what I was expecting. So I was kind of like thinking like, would that even kill us? Uh, let's quiver. Ah, I should use Protect just to see what do you do. Okay, you set up Leech Seed. That's fine. I don't actually mind that. Another Quiver Dance. And you Giga Drain. And then one more Quiver Dance. So now we're plus three. And we might be less. Let's see. Is that. When does Swarm activate? Actually. Let's. I'm gonna look that up. Swarm. Pokemon. Is it 25% or is it 50%? Because I think Swarm is a little bit different from those others. 50%, yeah. When it's... No, no, one-third of its maximum HP. Alright, so I need to have one-third. So I guess it is just like... Blaze, Torrent, and Overgrowth. It's the exact same. Porygon 2. 
And you know how swarm as well? I'm gonna protect. Okay, use foul play. I mean, with my quip. No, my quip then doesn't increase my. Um, defenses. Damn, the fact that it survived. Holy shit. Oh, but I wasn't at 130. Yeah, I had 90 HP. 90, 180, and then 270. Yes, I needed like 70 HP. Or like 80, maybe. 80, 160, 240. Yeah, I needed around 80 HP. Oh, well. Um, maybe now I can set in Helen. I mean, we have, basically, I have my two. Ah, damn, AG Slash. Fuck, I hate Aegis Lash. What can I do against you? And, oh yeah, his last Pokemon is a Swampert as well. Probably Mega Swamp. Okay, we Mega. And we just Psychic. Helen, you are... Ah, damn. I... I... Sh I... I should think about like the King Shield, right? So they've gone for Calm Mind. Holy shit, the second Psychic did so much. Oh well, yeah, because he's in his, this stance. I, you're probably gonna heal, yeah. So we Dragon Dance. Are you gonna use Shield? Yes. So Dragon Dance one more time. Dragon Claw. Mm. God damn it. Don't use... Okay, nice. So we kill here. So we have to hope that our plus two is... Plus Outrage is enough to one-shot a Swampert. A Mega Swampert. I don't think it is. Oh, it was. Holy shit. My god, good job, Achilles. Fuck you, Brandon. Thanks, Peach. That's what I expected from a champion. So that's actually a pretty cool ending as well. That we actually battle him on our way back home. He says it was like one Route 103. So I assume... Um... That's where we battled him, maybe the first time. I actually don't know which route 103 is. The end. Oh, Norman? Sorry, I know you're watching your show, but... What is it? Meet to show Moss Deep. Oh, well. Work is work, I suppose. Ah, poor mom. Mom. We can go together, alright? So let's go watch the meteor showers together. Because I'm back home. So is this like the introduction to like the post game? It's kind of like go to Masti. To be continued. Okay, that's pretty cool. Starting little roots. Okay, wait. No, no, I'm not going to do anything here. Because um, I didn't think we would go straight into this. Uh, so, I'm going to save this. Probably for future. Uh, maybe this, the post game, is going to become like live streaming thing. Uh, I'll see what I decide to do. But, thank you guys for being on this journey. Um... I had a lot of fun with this. I actually really like the battles in this ROM hack. I think the Evento, you did a great job. Uh, not making it just... Of making it like a fun ROM hack. I think you did great. And then the actual game itself. I loved it. Now when I played the entire game, I think Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire... I mean, I didn't play Alpha Sapphire, but at least Omega Ruby on my favorite, like my Pokemon games tier list. I actually think I enjoyed Omega Ruby 
more than normal ruby. So it's probably like, I, I, I didn't enjoy this as much as I enjoy emerald. I think it's like in between emerald and ruby. Very good. Obviously my enjoyment for it would be lower if I didn't play it through a ROM hack because when I played the original game, I mean, I decided to stop playing very early because I was kind of like, ah, oh, God, I'm not really enjoying how easy it is, especially with everything. Goodbye. <laughs>